Joining us now is Box CEO Che Huang, who says they've seen a huge sales surge just over the past few weeks. In fact, over the past week even. Uh, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, let me ask you about some of these figures in particular. You're seeing uh, cleaning and disinfectant items. They've doubled over the past week. Toilet paper has doubled. Paper towels are up tenfold. Uh, do you have a, are you concerned about any shortages? Yeah, one of the other things I want to add to that, Kelly, is also wine is up 126% week over week. So, you know, folks are really stocking <laughs> up uh, at this point. And so, you know, it's really, it's really important for viewers to understand why this is happening. Um, so absolutely, I think uh, we're probably a week or two out before some of these shortages really start to hit. It is more regionalized than it was last time where there was a national panic. Um, folks are better this time. All the retailers are better prepared, more stock on hand, uh, guardrails of only being able to buy one or two. But it's really important to understand why this is happening, and it's really about timing and the amount. So um, if every American uh, out there goes and buys one of almost anything these days on the same day, yeah, there's going to be a shortage of that item for the time being. And so there's not only the timing of everyone going into the stores, but also hopefully people will be a little bit more reasonable this time and buying only what they need and not what they need for the next two years when it comes to toilet paper. True, although the fact that they're stockpiling again tells us that Maybe the spring, uh, you know, the spring stockpile uh, didn't didn't even make it six months. Are you guys in general, Che, taking share this year? I mean, I, I obviously, I know this is an opportunity when people are turning to online, when they're looking for big box solutions. And, how, you know, how are you making sure that you're part of that conversation? So for us, it's really about loyalty. Uh, and so our business is based upon repeat uh, rates and repeat customers. And so uh, we're really focused on making sure that the customers that did discover us in March, April, and that, that crazy initial kind of COVID stock up period stuck with us, stuck with us throughout. And luckily between our boxed up membership program and some of the other things we've launched, we've seen the cohort that came in earlier this year, six to seven months ago, they're the stickiest cohort by far in the history of our company, even going all the way back to 2013, 2014, when we first launched. And so these folks are discovering online shopping when it comes to essentials. Um, and all our data is showing that they're actually sticking with us throughout this entire period. Hey, Che, it's John Ford. Good to see you again. What are you hey, seeing heading into the holiday period? I mean, I know that that's not necessarily your sweet spot, but everybody buys more stuff during the holidays. And to what extent do you expect to see these loyalty trends continue into 2021? It's uh, such a good question because we debate that endlessly internally. So, you know, when COVID really started, I think the conversation was around, well, are they going to shop online for a few months and then come back to in-store? I think you're starting to see that, you know, this isn't some new fad. This habit is starting to stick because customers have been shopping online in increasing amounts for now six, seven, eight months. And by the time the vaccine really takes hold, perhaps a full year. And so after you do something for a full year, that starts to become the habit and you'll have to break that habit to go back. So that's kind of how I see this playing out over the next kind of few years, John. Um, when it comes to the holiday season, I, I think um, it's crazy to say this. I never thought I'd say, but the hot item I think will be paper towels. Uh, more so than probably anything out there, that will be the hot gift this year because when it comes to toilet paper, again, really interesting kind of point I, I hope for the viewers out there. Toilet paper, you have business type toilet paper, commercial toilet paper, and, and kind of household toilet paper. And you can shift kind of the resources and some of the tooling so that you can make a little bit more household rather than commercial as, hmm. you know, offices remain kind of mostly shuttered throughout the country. Yeah, when we get the paper towels, you know, there's not that excess capacity where they can shift from commercial paper towels. The household. So that's why you're seeing that that uh, that out of stock. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.